Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play a Danganronpa 2 Part 45. In the previous video, our best buddy and pal Nagito appears to have been gruesomely murdered and we've got to investigate and figure out if uh, A, who killed him and B, if anybody killed him, at least anybody of the group, because we're in chapter five, which means maybe it's time for the game to say, we don't have to play by our own rules anymore. Um, Phew. You know, I'm not salty. I don't know why you would, you, you would assume I'm salty uh, about the first game. You guys need to find out who Naito's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterword at all. Do your best. Thanks for the encouragement, Mr. Monokuma. Wait! Uh, hold on! I won't forgive you! I will let you escape this time. Wait right here! Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly at an end, it's safe to think that we can go home, right? But still... Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagato's case for Who? No, never heard of such a bean. Damn it! Even if we can go home, it'll be the end for us if we screw up here. All right! Well, let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so we can all go back home. Now, really, there's no, like, no one suspect jumps out since we were all split up. Theoretically, anybody could have done it because we don't know what the time frame is. Um, for all we know, Nagito had, was dead as soon as we split up. I mean, we, we don't really uh, know because of those video messages. However, like, I think they kind of want you to assume that he was still alive up until right before you come in here. Oh, yeah, there's blood up there on the, uh, like, uh, towards the top. I mean, someone in this room killed Nagito. Well, not necessarily, but probably. I mean, maybe. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel. Well, it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it stuck inside me. Ooh, do, do we have new music? We've got new detective music? First, we need to look at the Monokuma file. It just says Nagito's dead, LOL. This isn't helpful, Monokuma. The victim is Nagito Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Oh, it's not bad. Got got a little, got heavy riff energy. It's kind of it's kind of reminiscent of one of the other songs in maybe the first game. I, mean, I don't know any of the song names, but it, it sounds kind of familiar. Not only is there a spear stabbed into his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. Huh? Is there something wrong with this Monokuma file? Uh -huh, again, but what's wrong with it? It doesn't actually say how he died, I guess. There are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. No actual cause of death. Yep. It's definitely weird. Mm. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what the investigation is for. Don't worry or form conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than I should be. I mean, Shaka's pretty competent. Mm. Which is how you know she's going to reveal herself to be evil now. We can discuss it later. Right now is our only chance to investigate, so we should investigate first. See? If we don't, there won't be anything for us to discuss. Well, uh, I guess you're right. Then let's start with the area surrounding Nagito's body. I should start with the back of the warehouse. Since the curtain blocked most of the water, this area wasn't affected by the sprinklers that much. Thanks to that, I can properly investigate Nagito's body. I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagito's body. I did. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either. So much for that ultimate luck, a eh, Nagito. Well, um, actually, his death was pre-planned. Therefore, his luck went into went into play. Uh, I, I can't click on this blood. Really? I feel like that's kind of important. There being blood up there, but what do I know? Looks like a bunch of plastic bottles. Remnants of plastic are scattered all over the place. This is probably 
Those things we definitely shouldn't have chunked into the fire. Those fire grenades that we used to put out the fire. Well, they weren't actually useful in the end. It turns out it was just bottles of Nagito's piss. The fire was only extinguished thanks to the sprinklers. Well, nevertheless, the evidence really isn't all that strange. You know, uh, Hajime doesn't use a shower. Nagito's like, I can't use a toilet. Bottles are the only way I can I can get my bladder empty. Monokuma's dead. There's blood coming out of his stomach. Hey. No response. He's dead, Jim. I get it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not dead. Is this one of the life-size plushies that were being produced at this factory? <laughs> if you're mistaken a plushie for me, then there's something wrong with you. You're a stuffed animal, too. I mean, he's more of a stuffed robot. Hey! Don't put our oversized garbage there. It's so misleading. What the heck? What are you calling oversized garbage? Could this be one of Monokuma's tricks? Then why'd he do it? Making a hole like he got stabbed and going to the trouble of dirtying the hole with blood? Did he try and imitate Nagato's body or something? What are you saying? I had nothing to do with that. Huh? You're so evil! He's probably lying. Seriously, you're always lying. You should just die like that plushie over there. What's this? You seem more pissed than usual these days, Monami, but you better watch what you say. <laughs> If I feel like it, I can wipe you out easily, you know. I... I won't give in to your threats. I'll fight until the very end. I can't lose. I'll definitely take back the seat of world supremacy for Monokuma. World supremacy? What? Looks like those annoyances are gone. That's, that's the polite way to put it. If it wasn't Monokuma's trick, then who did this? Could the killer have done this? If so, is this Nagito's blood? I have no idea how this connects to the incident. Um, well, what's up, Akane? Um, it mattered for Gundam's killings and for Mekon's, but it looks like it's different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What, time? Time of death? What doesn't matter? So. Time! It looks like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file the time of death was noon sharp. Wait, was it? I didn't even see that. Oh yeah, noon sharp. Okay, so that would have been... That does narrow down the time frame a lot. Well, it does and it doesn't, right? Because of the way he's been killed. Like, he could have been impaled and then just left lying there for a period of time. And maybe something to do with the actual grenades would have been what triggered his, his death. I don't exactly know. Like, maybe something to do with the... Like, destroying the curtain would have triggered something that would have killed him. So I, I'm not going to take too much stock into the noon thing. Because I think that would, like, in theory, of like, everyone would be safe from that. Because pretty much everyone was together for a good period prior to noon. If it was at noon, what were we doing during that time? Hmm. What were we doing? Well, right now it's... It's time. It's 12.30 p.m. So it also has a clock function. He is also a Time Lord. Um, that means Nagito died 30 minutes ago. Huh? It happened that recently. He's totally a fresh kill. Fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. Hmm. It happened 30 minutes ago. Was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? You're right. Those fake bombs are originally supposed to explode at noon. All right. Which means whoever to send an alibi for that time is Nagito's killer. But we were all there together. Hmm. This could be like when Nekumara died. The killer could have also used some kind of automatic setup. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so they would need they would have needed time to time to prepare. All right. And whoever doesn't have an alibi before we found the bomb is suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for that time. That's when we all split up to search for the bombs. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, I'm not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. When the Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's going to happen? Huh? What's going to happen? That's obviously this wrong. This writing school trip is going to end, right? And we can finally go back home? Jeez. Carefree till the end. Does that mean you don't think it's going to happen? 
Well, yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Hey, hey! Uh, wh what do you mean, uh, something? Shut up! He's Shut making up! us kill each other, you know? Uh, what could be worse than that? Damn it! You don't want to know. I don't know. But this is Monokuma we're talking about, you know? There's no way this will end smoothly with a countdown. Anyway, like you said before, if we screw up here, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigate. I mean, it would actually be incredibly funny, right? If it was just like, you can go home now. You, you never had to kill anyone. You just got like a 21-day beach vacation. But you're all idiots and decided to murder people. That would be good. We'll think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. I know. Yeah, I know. You. Then don't bring up strange stuff like that. Um... What is this? Lighter, ah. Ah, this is... an oil lighter. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It also looks like the fire did extensive damage here. The oil lighter was placed here. Just kidding. Ah, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep warm. Sonya, why are you still in this game? Bring it on! It's a most full- Okay, there we go. That That's why you're maybe here. <laughs> Is a most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Well, oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Yeah. Which means. So using that, the curtain was set on fire. Maybe. Using the oil lighter, huh? Do you think the killer set it up with some sort of trick? You are right. The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. They caused a fire to destroy evidence? No. That's the only reason I can think of why a killer would set fire to their crime scene, but... I, I doubt it's that. Once again, like... I never expected Nagito to die like this. He was always spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. I mean, I would say death in general is pretty cruel, but I know what you mean. Also, he wasn't completely useless like most of our party members. I mean, uh, there were times where he was only able to re we were only able to reach the truth because of him. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again, and we'll never be saved by him again. Well, let's not say we'll never be confused by him. I have a feeling he's left a few mysteries from us from uh, beyond the grave. No, now is the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. For now, I need to investigate everything about this body that catches my eye. Alright, well, there's a... This thing? Okay. What about... What about this thing? The weight? No? Alright. It's not important. Got it. The knife is stabbed through Nagito's right hand. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cruel? Um... I got a hint for you, uh, Hajime. It's because they're a killer? This knife, it must be for the military base. Military base? Ah, uh, now that you mention it, you're right. It looks like a survival knife. Well? It seems that the wounds on his leg and left arm were caused by that same knife. Well, it's also... Her mentioning that gives her slight sus clearance because mentioning the military base, obviously Sonya would be the one you would think of because she was at the military base. So saying that kind of almost incriminates her. Which means that she's not sus in my mind. Granted, I'm like not even 100% con convinced any of us killed him. I think it's definitely possible, but I also think it's possible it's no one killed him. Uh, because it's time for the game to get wacky. Which means after the killer was finished stabbing Nagito's legs and left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. It cannot be. And then they finished him off with the spear. How cruel. Does that mean the killer went through the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? But they could have just killed him by stabbing him with the knife. Why did they need to use a spear at all? You are right. That is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? A reason they had to use the spear, huh? Survival knife has been added to the truth bullet section. There's a cut on his upper left arm. His r legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this one looks like a slice. That's probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. 
Well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Super difficult. There's something strange in the neighborhood. Sh strange what? See? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is for when his left arm is sliced, but... Doesn't the blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts off. Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it splattered? No. Um, that would explain the blood on his palm, but... There's something else that's strange? Um, when you flip it over and look at the back of his hand... Well? There's also blood, but only above the middle joint of each finger. You're right, why is it only on this part? See? It's just as I said, right? It's strange, right? Hmm. I win! Yeah, sure. You you win. What whatever whatever do you win? It's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? I mean you would kinda think that he was maybe holding something, but I don't know. I can't think of why the back of the hand would also be not have anything on it. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. His mouth is covered with duct tape. Is that what that is? Was this to keep Nagato from screaming for help? But it's like transparent. This is bad. What a horrible look on his face. The blood splattered all over doesn't help either. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at him. Well, we might want to check and see if there's anything in his mouth. Um. You know, uh, Silence of the Lamb style. Got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. Chake moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagito's face. And in one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off of his mouth. Hey, what are you doing? It's gonna be fine. We're gonna try mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Maybe we can just wake him up. It'll be fine. I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here. Hey, hey, hey! Putting the tape back on isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine. You're gonna get cursed! Mm. The blood on Nagito's face, it looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm. If that's the case, man, it's no use. She's not listening. Hey, hey. About the blood splatter on his face. There's no blood under the duct tape. Huh? What's wrong with that? Well? This duct tape has crinkles like it was sticking towards the inside of his mouth, right? Nagito was probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. <laughs> Ser seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really need to worry about? Well, yeah. Uh, I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Also, check under his tongue for pickles. Anyway, this might be some kind of clue, too. I should remember it. Duct tape has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. And last but not least, Spear Boy. A spear with a flashy ornament on it is impaled deeply in the Nagito's stomach. Hmm. There's no way around it. That looks like the fatal wound. What's this? Oh my, such a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle and there's an iron weight attached to it. Phew. I see, so you use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear. Is this your first time looking at this suit? Yeah. Uh, of course not. This is the spear of gun gear, right? Oh, it actually is. You definitely just, uh, came up with that right now. Hey! Hey! By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? Um, I feel like I saw it at Nazumi Castle. Wait, what? What? Nazumi Castle? What the hell? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. A likely story. <laughs> D damn you mice! Damn you all to hell! See, even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. Well, more importantly, I need, to, I need to focus on the investigation. That spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle... Looks like that part has blood on it, too. For some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. It's about the size of a human fist. It's strange that this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. I guess maybe he was holding it? Yeah, I mean, maybe Naito is like the one... I, that doesn't really make any sense, though. I mean, he could have been holding the spear up and then let go of it. Like, maybe there was something designed to make him let go. Like, because we're, we're still not entirely sure if he's, like, A, murdered by... I mean, there's either he's murdered by one of us, he's murdered in some other fashion, or he killed himself. Those are, like, the three options that I can think of. 
it being a suicide, despite how graphic it is, is definitely maybe possible. Uh, I don't really know why Nagito would kill himself, but Nag anything Nagito does at this point doesn't really like make sense based on the information we have. Also, Chiake mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from Mizumi Castle. It might be better if I confirm that later. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, maybe if he was... But I don't still don't quite understand the blood spider. Is there anything else? Oh, he has legs. Both of Naito's legs are tied up. Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs are all stab wounds. Does this mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagisa, they also stabbed his legs? Why would the killer do something like that? Damn it! At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a huge grudge toward him. Or they might have been torturing him. D -t torture Huh? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? Yeah, if you disregard the spear in his chest, well, it's more like his stomach. The other wounds were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Naito's body were from the killer torturing him? If that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Naito confess? Was it something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have had to tell a deep grudge towards Naito. Damn it! Refusing to let him die easily? I can totally understand a dark impulse like that. Uh, you shouldn't say that out loud. Even if they held a grudge against him, would they have really gone this far? I mean, the only person who disliked Nagito that much is like Nagito himself. Also, on the uh, the picture, there's like blood where there actually isn't. Like, see, there's a bunch of blood underneath the wire when there isn't in the actual real life. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a rope. Nagito's right wrist is tied with rope, but it looks like the tip of that rope burned off. Could this be a result of the fire? But that's weird. If the rope was burned off like this, why are Nagito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Once again, there's blood underneath his arm where there actually isn't. I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagato's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body is right in front of me and one of my peers is the killer responsible. And I have to investigate his death so I can find his killer? Am I used to something as normal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. I mean, maybe. I think you're just doing what you gotta do. Once again, this blood stain, dude. I'm trying, so, I mean, we can kind of assume that maybe the spear was like wrapped around up here, but I guess it could be that maybe there was blood already on the cord and it got wiped off up here, but it wouldn't be that clean. I don't know, it's just odd that that's, there's nothing there. We never talked to you, did we? One of us killed Nagito in such a cruel way? <laughs> it's too bizarre. I can't do anything except laugh. Can we talk to Chiaki? Chiaki? She looks like she's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange? Ah, there we go. She's gonna mention it. Yep. About that sprinkler. There, it's one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Well? You can see the grinder right next to it there. See? Can you see that red streak? Huh? You're right. I definitely see it. It looks like a small red line on the ceiling gir gir girder. Is that blood? Blood? The color definitely looks like blood. Well, no, it doesn't. But there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. I should remember this. Hmm, blood on the girder has been added. Now then, that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just killing Nagito, there should have been another reason as well. If not, they wouldn't have gone through the trouble of tying him with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape. Well, I mean, if you're trying to torture someone to make them speak, you would probably not want to silence them. So, what was the reason? It looks like I better investigate other areas to figure that out. 
All right, I should try investigating the other areas inside this warehouse first. Yeah, the 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 other the, the other areas. Um. Oh, uh, now we can interact with the iPod. This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. But why is this here? Maybe. It looks like that weird music was playing. That was playing was coming from here. Hmm. You know that music that was blaring when the flat fire started? Yeah, you're right. Looks like it's buzzed from getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistaking that that music was playing from that MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but why was the killer playing music from this? I mean, come on, man. It's uh, lo-fi beats to murder to? Mini books? There are a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. Apparently, they contain Monokuma's poetry and photos. The sprinklers completely soaked them. I can't even turn the pages anymore. Well, it's not like I'm missing much. Um. It mattered for gun. Okay, you're saying the same thing. Looks like Sonya's focused on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I needed to ask her about. Now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagato's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, uh, Sonya, do you have a minute? Want to go get a get a bite to eat? Maybe go to the go to the diner down by the beach? Uh, ha, ha. Just kidding. Um... Dot dot dot. Unless, yeah. What is it? I wanted to talk to you about that when that fake bomb Nagato set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? It's all right. It's not a bomb. Why do you know the bombs were a fake? Um... Uh, well... That's not all either. When we were looking for the bombs, why were you at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. What were you... Where were you and what were you doing during, during that time? Oh my! Oh my! It cannot be! D do you suspect me? I mean, not really, but we're just doing our due... Du 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 I can't say it. Due diligence. Take a little water break. I keep having to clear my throat, man. I'm like mute, muting my mic constantly. It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. J Jesus, you son of a bitch! S Sonya, what the hell, lady? I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I was panicking. Um... I shall calm down and explain it to you why I was at the military base. Well, I just uh, love the military. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone, so I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard Nagato planted bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? That is... As I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered? Please listen! And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nagato brought from the military base, which mean were, were from the military base, which means they were fake bombs. Wait. But why do you know they're fake? How'd you find out the bombs at the military base were fake? Um... Because I attempted to use one of them, wait, what? What? I see. I thought I see. one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin and also kill uh, Kazuichi because he annoys me. Um. I mean, uh, at the time, I still believed the bombs were real, and I thought I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. However, uh, Monami? that plan was an utter failure. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. You think Monami could have killed Nagito? Would that be allowed? God damn it! All to hell! I see. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Define secretly. Which means? If those bombs are the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. That is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange that Nagito blew up at the blew up the hotel lobby. Uh, Kazuichi, he got uh, he got tokoed. That bomb was real, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. Upon further reflection, that might have been Nagito's plan all along. He showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were real as well. 
Now, where did he get a real bomb from? So if so, the Nagato's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is his reason for doing it. Um. With this, I have explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're, you're right. I got it. Um. You are acting a little weird, but. So here's a, here's just an, a thought that popped into my head while Sonya was talking. I don't really buy this theory, but I think it would be kind of neat. Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and present it just in the off chance that maybe it's true. I don't think it is. Uh, what if someone were to be like so confident that no one else was the traitor? Like they were so, they believed in their friends so much. They're like, none of these people could be the traitor. And so then they assumed that they were the traitor because of no one else is. They're like, well, I must be the traitor if it's one of us and I've just forgotten. And so then they killed Nagito in order to make sure that they were not outed as the traitor because then they wouldn't they wouldn't want to be hated by their friends. Like I said, I, I think it's a kind of an kind of an out there thing, but I think there is a slight possibility there's something like that going on. Like I could see like Sonya maybe, like she was so confident that no one was the traitor, maybe she like convinced herself that she was the traitor and she had forgotten so she killed Nagiso to prevent him from uncovering the traitor or something along those lines Jeez. well I'll think about the countdown after we live through the count trial well even though I did say I was gonna friggin kill him hey, hey, hey. there's no I would have actually done it I was just upset you know a likely story Looks like this side is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. Maybe you couldn't. Uh, Hajime has detective vision. Everything important is circled. And it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put out the fire. Hey, hey. Well, you know, if it was up to me, we would have just done nothing. And we would have never even known that Nagito died. There wouldn't even have been a class trial because there would have been no body to find. So, yeah, you should just listen to me next time when I say, hey, let's not throw random bottles at uh, a fire. There was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. You are right. I agree. If we did, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and become all wet and soggy. <laughs> Miss Sonya's all, all wet. She's all drenched and soggy. It's his best Kazuichi impression. Hey, hey! You were thinking that, huh? Not even in the slightest. Not even as like a joke that I think that. Of course not! I, I wasn't thinking that at all. Say what? Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. Whoa! You're, you're screwing with me. Disgusting. Oh my, screwing? How lewd. Hey, hey, hey! Please don't look at me with such fearful eyes. I only imagine it for a second. Uh, I, gotta, for so, I gotta turn around so that nobody can see my front for a second. Kazuichi, you should probably keep your mouth shut already. There's a lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panels near the curtain in the back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? I mean, I guess it kind of looks like there's maybe like a connection. Like maybe it was supposed to create a line of fire. They should have all been neatly put away. Hmm. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Uh, no? Huh? See? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the... Oh, maybe that's how they started the fire. Yeah, they all tipped over like dominoes, hit the, hit the lighter, and then that started the fire on the curtain. So maybe the reason those panels are tipped over is... It's fine. I'll open it slowly. That's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter, clatter! It's not open! Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it! I knew it, it's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? Didn't I tell you I'd be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened to open it slowly? Akane ignored their protests and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Could it be? Was it that? Well? And there's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. These Monokuma panels are tipped over starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that line is the only one that's neat and orderly. 
so... Isn't this clearly strange? Strange. That means we can speculate this was done intentionally. So yeah, that's, that's how the fire started as soon as we got into the room. We found some clues, but there's still so many things I don't understand yet. Hold it. You look worried. Yeah, I am. Well? At a time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. I mean, I know I'm going to the castle. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right. There are several things I've been wondering about besides the crime scene. The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushy factory next door, Nozumi Castle, where the spear originally came from, and Nagito's room too. Let's not go there. I'm going to, if I'm going to understand the reasons for his actions, I need to know more about him. Um, like his internet browser history. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Can you hear me? <laughs> hey, you guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other areas too? In response to Chiaki, who the others gather around her. I see. I, I agree. I was just wondering about proceeding to another area. It seems we have the same idea. Huh? Is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Yep. We don't have any ch have a choice. There aren't enough of us. Besides, we investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together. So we need to search them in other areas, probably. Hmm. Well, alternatively, if there aren't any clues in other areas either, we'd have to give up completely. You don't need to say that. Hey, hey! Then is it okay if we leave this place? Yeah. It's okay? There's no time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no other way except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. I mean, sacrifice. It's not we're not sacrificing them, we're holding them accountable for their actions. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Well, let's, uh, I guess we'll do the factory first, because it's right here. I want to check out that dang old break room. Apparently the bombs that were stuffed onto this truck were actually fireworks. Which reminds me, this truck looks like it came from the military base. Nagato must have brought it here. Other than that, there's nothing in particular that catches my eye. My... I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life! Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. However... While I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. We could just eat them. Well? That bomb that went off of the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? Do you have a minute? If you had the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would, might devise something like that? Well, yeah, I mean, they do have a self-destruct function, as we learned in the first game. Amazing! A plushy bomb is an act of terrorism! Alright! Let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Uh, hold on. If there was a bomb inside of these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Easy as pie. Either way, it's all gravy. All gravy? What the hell does that mean? Enough already! Stop! There's no bomb! Hey! Um, you know, if you just peel, no, if you just pick me up, see, all you'll feel is the soft weight of cotton and advanced robotics. I see. You I are see. right. However, then where did Nagato obtain the bomb he used? Who knows? I wonder. Hmm. If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. What? To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes. Please wait. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. Well, I thought if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was going to happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Phew! I feel so relieved. It wasn't if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then he brought it from the octagon? Well done! I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonya. <laughs> Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. <laughs> Let's try it! That is... Did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Okay, anything else on the laptop? That reminds me, we saw Nagito's video message on this laptop. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how'd he time his messages so perfectly? It looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why do you have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. 
And at the time, Nagato should have already been killed, which means the video was recorded in advance. That's right, besides that video, there might be data on this laptop that could be used as a clue. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but it's no use, it's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Okay. Nothing related to the incident. Take me to the break room. Anything inside? There's nothing on the floor that looks like a clue. Not even trash. Not even trash? Did we, did we talk to you? I can't remember. Yeah, we talked to you. Okay, I guess we're done. That is. Okay, get me out of here. I guess we'll go to the military base uh, next. Hey, okay, take a sip of some water. Okay, everything seems to be the same. Nothing immediately different, I don't think. Maybe this truck? Was it, did this truck not have anything in it last time? I know this one had, like, the RPGs, but... Man... Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they better take get better care of these. Yeah, it's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. And we got a tank. Anything in the tank? If the bombs are fake, this might be fake too. What, like it's like an inflatable balloon? Meant to fool spy planes? I'm not brave enough to check for myself. When I tried looking through the truck bed, it's empty. Nothing's here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. Okay, I thought it... I didn't really realize... I just knew something was different. However... The bombs had disappeared. I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs are nowhere to be found. But did Nagato know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. Nah, never mind. He said as much in his video message. <laughs> so, uh, were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there are enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if they were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. He knew the bombs were fake. He only did what he did to weed out the traitor. No, is that really it? Did Nagito only do that to expose the traitor? Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. Okay. Whoa! Found it! What'd you find? Huh? Well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but also found stuff like a survival knife. Wait, that's... Isn't that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nagito's right hand? Maybe... Which means the killer obtained that knife here. All right. <laughs> so the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once, which is basically everyone. Well, I mean, granted, we have no idea who had visited it. When we split up, anybody could have come here. That's everyone, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. We're just going to take your word at that? That sounds fishy. Plus, you were probably here stalking Sonya at some point. You weirdo. Did we ever talk to you? I can't remember. We did, didn't we? Man. Hey! Okay. Anything else? There's a helicopter. Okay, I executed Terra Terra. Doesn't have anything to do with the incident, so I guess we can leave. Let's uh, head back to Nezumi Castle. And then Nagito's room. We're making pretty good progress in the investigation. It won't take three videos like the last one did. Jesus. That one was just like way too freaking long. Ah, uh, remember when Nekumaru said he was a time lord right here? Good times. Good times. Oh yeah, the spear was up there, okay. I didn't realize those were spears originally. A spear with a flashy ornament on it is hanging from the wall. This spear is definitely it, right? I see. 
Just as I thought, it looks exactly like the spear that killed Naito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also... Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. <laughs> there's no mistaking it. The killer took one of those spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gun Gear, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. Uh, why did the killer use the spear and a knife? Well, yeah. They could have just killed him with a knife, but it would have been easier, too. There's no way a spear like this with this unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear for a reason. What could that reason be? I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, you might be able to find out some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. I get it. The killer must have taken the spear from here. A spear like that isn't convenient at all, and it would have been a pain in the ass to carry around. So, why did they bother using it in the first place? I see. Maybe the spear was actually used for torture too? Torture, huh? I'm still pretty sure that's 11037. Nagito was the only one who found out the password written here, and apparently he went inside, but now that he's dead, are we unable to get the password? Oh, we should deal with that later. Like, just, I gotta do my due diligence. I do not in any way think the game would let us put the password in. But, I think it would be neat if it would let you, if you thought you could figure it out. But, kind of like, uh, you know, I've referenced the Zero Escape series a lot. And there's some stuff like that in that game. Where if you know the answer to certain things, you can uh, put them in. Even if you aren't technically supposed to, I mean, know the answer. If you deduce certain things slash know it already. We'll, we'll give it a shot. I just want to see if there's any new dialogue also. Can we look at Monami's hiding spot? No? Come on, you can you can do it. Door, or like the panel. Come on, just let just let me try. Just let me try, Dan. All right. You know we were just uh, trying to get some steps in. You know, just uh, just getting uh, getting our steps in. We're at uh, we're at level fifty. Oh boy, where am I going again? Oh yeah, Nagito's house. Now, how do I get back? to the first island? Maybe through the door that has a big one on it? That that makes sense. Wait, that's, 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 this is it. Have, we haven't been to Nagato's house, right? I don't think we have. So, uh, let's investigate. Uh, for a second, I thought you were Nagito, and I was like, oh man, Nagato's back, dude. Are you a plushie, or are you a real Monokuma? You're a real Monokuma. What's this? Oh my, you want to go inside Nagito's room too? Hajime. Hajime. What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. <gasps> she begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. Um... I didn't do that. Boy, <laughs> then out. do it. It's sweet because it's made out of black beans. We don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door. Fine. Fine. I guess I have no choice. I just got to do that, right? Now then. Ba -ba -ba -loose. The master of unlocking has logged online. Bye bye. I have opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that, but why does that door open with a spell like that? Perhaps. Maybe the cottage key is computerized? Why couldn't our lock be computerized so a bookie couldn't keep breaking in? Hey, hey. More importantly, let's go, go inside that door now. Go inside now that the door is open and that murderous Mekon. Yeah, you're right. Dude, even Nagito has like stuff in his room. Come on, Hajime. 
What was he thinking inside this room? What was he feeling as he spent his days in here? I can't even imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope, becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us? No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. He was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well. Well, I mean, nothing really stands out as being important. Oh, hello. No. Oh boy, ten more coins I don't even need to spend anymore. Because uh, I'm pretty sure there's no more free time events, I would assume. There's a refrigerator! Hell yeah, you are huh? correct. Oh god, uh, there's like a sneeze, and I can't tell if it's going to go through or not. I think it passed. My cottage doesn't even have a refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Don't you have like four different game consoles? Like, I think I'd rather have that than a refrigerator, especially when like f food is free. Like fresh food, that is. Nuggets are probably supplied that himself. Hmm. Why do you go through the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? Does he have like severed heads in there? As I talked with Chiake, I opened the refrigerator out of curiosity. Okay, for poisoning use only? There really isn't much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle. Mm. For someone who likes cold drinks, it doesn't like he's stocked very much. But that bottle isn't a drink, right? Well, I mean, maybe. It looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? I get it. Ha 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 ha. I took the brown bottle out of the fridge and started reading the label. Exclusively made for poisoning someone to death. Hey, this is... It looks like it's poison. Well, uh, try some and we'll figure out. What, poison? <gasps> looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with that bottle. Don't drop it. S stop it. If you worry like that, I'm going to get nervous. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began to read the warning label on the back of the bottle. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, this liquid is very dangerous and vaporized. In its gaseous state, it is heavier than air. It breaks down in minutes and is susceptible to hydrohydrolysis. It is possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cold place in a, in a glass or a plastic container or away from sunlight. Mm. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. If I keep saying poison, dude, I'm gonna like, my brain is melting. But where did Nagato get something like this? Well, That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Plot of the bomb. See? There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. The octagon inside the funhouse. This poison, he must have brought it with him from there, from there too, right? Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bomb and poison during the class trial? <sighs> How dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Just thinking about it scares me. Hey, hey. Also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the, at the lobby. But what about the poison? The poison. The poison. Keep saying the word poison. See? It looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like that from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? If so, where, where did he use it? I wonder, is there still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet? Another trap? Perhaps. For example, maybe he was making some kind of trap using this poison before he died. That actually exists it could be real bad it could potentially kill everyone on this island e everyone on the island but what the hell now are you still trying to make us suffer are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died okay a special poison what's the description on the on the old poison highly potent takes effect immediately this liquid is very dangerous when vaporized Hmm. I mean, I guess the fire could have vaporized it or something? I don't know. But then how would it have gotten back? Hmm. And it breaks down within minutes. Yeah, I don't quite know yet how the poison is used. 
Well, there's nothing else important here. N nothing whatsoever. I guess we'll just watch some TV and uh, leave. Hmm. So. The bookshelf might take ta some time to investigate, so we should try examining some other areas first. I mean, I just don't really see anything. I mean, there's a plant. There's a bed. It's the bed that comes with the cottages. It looks like the one in my room, but it doesn't have as many stains for some reason. Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a usual place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. I mean, uh, we should still check just in case. With no expectations and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and was instantly poisoned. There's something here. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. It looks like there's something inside. What is this? It looks like a gas mask and rubber gloves. These look like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? A gas mask and rubber gloves? He was hiding these under his bed. What did Nagito use this stuff for? Who knows? Hajime. Was there anything else under the bed? Uh, let's see. Uh, peeked under the bed once again and started looking around the area. I found the supermarket bag and... Huh, there's a small piece of paper on the floor. A piece of paper made of blue aluminum? Uh, how could it be a piece of paper made of aluminum? Hajime, please think before you use your words. It's similar to those seals that go over jars of unopened mayonnaise. I get what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Wait. It might be too soon to decide that. Okay. It's, well, it's not, it's not paper. Paper is, is not aluminum. I didn't want to click on that. Perhaps. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh, yep. You don't have to replay the entire freaking scene, dude. Just because I accidentally... I'll, I'll like, oh, your cursor's here and it's supposed to be here. Thankfully, the text skipping does work pretty quickly. A fancy-looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Could this be... Poison. Can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Perhaps... That treasure box... Shaka, you know about this? Well, I stole it from Anami. I mean, uh, nothing. Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. Yeah, totally. This looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If that is here, that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, you'll have to wait until the next video when we will open Nagito slash Monami's loot box and see what we get. Oh boy, I'm so excited. I'm extra cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye guys.